what happens if you're diagnosed as keratoconus and you don't get your eyes treated at the right time so we have a similar case today i'm going to show you her topography now she was diagnosed as keratoconus she didn't get her eyes treated at the right time and she came to us at a very late stage now because of the rubbing the eyes basically topography looks like this the ideal thickness of the cornea should be around 550 so this is the normal range of the cornea the cooler colors basically means the cornea slightly flat and slightly thick if you're going orange and red that basically means that the cornea is a little more steeper as you can see here her right eye cornea was almost 216 when she came to her when the normal thickness should be around 500 to 550 when she came the left eye the thickness was about 419 microns now why is the thickness important in patients with keratoconus my previous videos we spoke about the treatment called as c3r c3r is nothing but corneal collagen cross-linking with riboflavin basically this is a treatment that is done to the cornea to basically strengthen the cornea treatment of c3r can be done only if the corneal thickness is somewhere between 370 plus so 370 to 400 plus is what the cutoff is for a c3r but the right eye a thickness was less than 370 it was 216 such thin corneas it is so thin that the cornea can perforate anytime now that basically means her cornea has stretched so much that it is so thin that it can actually perforate so in such patients we have to do a procedure called as a corneal transplant where basically we remove the unhealthy cornea the advanced corneal tissue and we replace it with the healthy cornea corneal transplant is something similar to the other transplants of your body like a kidney transplant or a heart transplant or a lung transplant but compared to all the transplant the corneal transplant is the most successful transplant procedure where the success rate is more than 80 percent so 80 percent for a transplant surgery is quite high 20 percent yes there is a chance that it can get rejected because again we are removing somebody else's tissue and keeping in our body so sometimes your body recognizes it tells us that this is not our tissue to somebody else's so there's always a chance of rejection this is the only treatment for her for the right eye it's just the indications for a corneal topography is if you're young if you have a habit of constantly rubbing the eyes if you have severe allergy if your power is a cylindrical number of more than minus 1.5 or 2 and the number is constantly changing then that could also be a sign of an early keratoconus so if you fall in this criteria make sure don't just get an eye checkup done at any optical store make sure you consult an ophthalmologist and make sure you get a corneal topography scan done